On the 12th of March 2014, Ryan Stone started a crime spree that lasted one hour and a half, and covered 75 miles during morning rush hour across the city of Denver, Colorado. A news helicopter filmed the pursuit from the air. The footages are equally terrifying and spectacular. The criminal drove erratically through the highway and disrespected all safety rules to evade capture. At some parts of the pursuit, Ryan Stone drove the vehicle at speeds above 100 miles per hour, and drove dangerously several times in the wrong direction of the highway while carrying a kidnapped toddler in the backseat. The first vehicle Ryan Stone hijacked was a red Ford Edge SUV at around 6.20 in the morning at a gas station. The vehicle belonged to Martha Rodriguez. Later on, she stated she had stopped the car at the gas station to purchase coffee and cigarettes. It was a cold day, and she thought it wouldn't take too long. So she left the vehicle running and her four-years-old son buckled in the back seat. Ryan Stone drove off with the vehicle, taking the toddler with him. The police was quickly notified and a Colorado state trooper spotted the vehicle on the Interstate 25. The state trooper started chasing the stolen vehicle, but Ryan Stone accelerated and started to drive erratically. To prevent an accident, the state trooper reduced the speed of his vehicle and stopped the pursuit. Yet a news helicopter spotted the vehicle from the air and tracked him down while informing the police of its location. I would like to remind you that at this point in the pursuit there was still a toddler inside the vehicle. Yet, Ryan Stone drove recklessly, endangering his life, the life of the child in the back seat, 
and everybody else driving on the road at that moment. After more than 30 minutes of dangerously driving, Ryan Stone finally abandoned the vehicle on the Interstate 76 leaving the child behind. Then Ryan Stone proceeded to hijack another vehicle, and initiated a new attempt to evade the police. The kidnapped toddler was later that same day returned safely to his family.
At this point of the chase, while Colorado State Trooper Bellaman he was trying to deploy a device to deflate tires on Stone's vehicle to halt the chase, Ryan Stone hit him with the car. The trooper survived the impact, but it caused him serious injuries, including several broken bones. Because Ryan didn't reduce the speed or tried to avoid the trooper, he was later charged with attempt manslaughter. During the crime spree, Ryan Stone hijacked three vehicles and damaged ten others in a hit-and-run type of crime. On several occasions, it is clear that Ryan intentionally bumped other vehicles to force the other drivers to stop and then to take off with their cars. The car chase finally came to an end when Ryan Stone destroyed the stolen vehicle he was driving and failed to hijack another car. He ran away on foot, but shortly he was chased by the police and apprehended. It was a miracle no civilians were seriously hurt or killed by his actions. During trial, the defense asked the court for a judgment of acquittal on 20 of the 26 counts, including the attempted murder charge and a kidnapping charge, but the motion was denied. In a judgment of acquittal motion, the defendant argues that the evidences are not sufficient to prove beyond a reasonable doubt that the defendant is guilty. Ryan Stone blamed the drugs for his crimes. He, several members of his family, and some friends described his struggle with drug addiction. I want everybody to know that 
no matter what the circumstances, we live in light and love, and we all deserve forgiveness, and I hope that everybody can take something from that. What does that mean? It means that we're all human, we all make all mistakes, human. and we all deserve to be forgiven. Yeah, but that's a big mistake. We've all made mistakes. Let the person who is without sin cast the first stone. I pray you leave me time to start a family of my own with my beautiful wife. They stated that the use of methamphetamine left him with little memory of what had happened apart from what he saw in the news. Then his family members testified in his favor, asserting he was a compassionate person who was remorseful for his actions. They were hoping for forgiveness. Yet this strategy came crumbling down when the prosecutors surprised everyone with video jail recordings of conversations between Ryan Stone and other people. In these recordings, Ryan Stone brags about the worldwide attention he received, laughs about the chase, and calls the state trooper he struck dumb, because of did not run out of the way fast enough. Hey, did you know I made the news in the UK and Australia? What? Yeah, my lawyer told me I made the news in the UK and Australia. If you type in Grand Theft Auto on YouTube, my shit comes up first. You're ridiculous. How do you even manage? <laughs> How do you manage that? I made the news in the UK and Australia. I know it's nothing to laugh about, but I mean, like, it's like, who else do you know that's made the news in Australia? <laughs> Leslie, my lawyer said this. She said that I was hearing about it on when it was all taking place on uh, on uh, KS 1075. And uh, she goes, you know, if you Google mm -hmm. or if you YouTube, oh yeah, that's, that's, that's all over the place. That's what everybody says. First thing, thing <laughs> so, so, so I told him. So I, if I Google, like uh, I told him, well, if it makes a million hits, you get paid by YouTube. So. Uh, Channel 7 News, I believe, is going to be the one that gets paid for that. Well, um, I'm going to contact Channel 7 News or have you contact Channel 7 News or somebody, a lawyer. Tell me, hey, look, I want to get paid. You guys aren't getting paid using my name and my video footage as my evidence, and I'm not getting paid. I'm getting paid. You, you know, it's, what's crazy is, like, when, when did they decide that it was worth chasing me where I don't know. where did the logic come in chasing me? Past a certain point. You know what I mean? Like you are endangering yeah. how many lives yeah. just in you guys chasing me. You know what I mean? Like yeah. Where is the logic? Why it even had to come to this? So. Whatever. Everybody knows I'm in so now though. <laughs> I know. Hey, everybody's like everybody's like it was like Hey fool. I'm not gonna say this publicly or anything. <laughs> but you can fucking drive. <laughs> Even the cops in here are like, yeah. like I still do the same thing. Guys, so. When you're in the minivan, no, like it, the minivan, like, yeah. you're like on and off the highway, swerving like an incoming traffic. I was like, damn, that fool can drive. <laughs> I thought it was going to roll so many times. <laughs> yeah, <man>. Dude. <laughs> so, yeah. It's just a picture of your face. <laughs> Scared to death. <laughs> I find it interesting that despite everything that happened, he acts like a spoiled brat and refuses to accept responsibility for his crimes. For him, it was not his fault, it was the police's fault because they chased after him. What were they thinking he said. No Ryan. The question is what were you thinking? The police officers were just doing their jobs. When it was his time to speak Ryan Stone tried to justify the recordings by blaming once more the drugs. He said he was regretful for having done those comments and then he added that he was truly sorry for what had happened. But no one believed in him. There is, I'm sure, a lot of conversations that take place that are personal conversations that you don't feel are always going to be brought up. Uh, I had filthy language in there. If I knew that, you know, I wasn't in uh, the comfort of a A and B conversation that they were going to be brought up, I would have checked the language and, you know, you get into your zone. You, you have so many things going on in your life. It just, it, it, sometimes it's just hard to gain a wrap on your emotions. As he said, we are going through trial after that. It's a week and a half trial. Extremely stressful, especially knowing what's at stake. It's extremely stressful. 
Um, as far about um, one of the phone calls about seeming like I was bragging about uh, making international news, this, that, and the other. That was within the first week of being arrested. Still coming off of drugs. Um, I had everybody and anybody who was put around me. Uh, it was, yeah, yeah, you know, yeah, put pumping you up and, you know, you kind of get into the environment and, and, and you'll swing set. And what they didn't play is the ones that do show remorse. What they didn't play is the ones that, where you're sitting on the phone and you're crying and you're crying so hard that you can barely speak. Um, what they didn't play is the things where you say over and over and over and over how you wish that you could sit with every single family and tell them how horrible this felt after it was all over. Sometimes you make light of a situation because it's an extremely horrifying situation. Because of the tapes, because he was a repeat offender, and because of the seriousness of the crimes, Ryan Stone was severely punished by the law. He was found not guilty of one count of second-degree kidnapping and one count of attempted robbery. But he was convicted of 18 charges of the 26 counts, including attempted manslaughter and first-degree assault. He was sentenced to 160 years in prison. He will be eligible for parole in approximately 75 years. It's mind-boggling just to think how a succession of bad ideas, in a span that lasted less than two hours, led to a lifetime behind bars. I have started this YouTube channel mainly to promote my work as a writer. If you like reading, I would like to suggest to you my first novel, Those Who Have Returned. It's a supernatural horror drama. If you like horror and you are tired of the same generic type of horror stories, then it's ideal for you. Or, if you don't like horror, you can always offer the book to someone in your circle of friends or family that does. I would appreciate any support. Thank you for watching my video until the end. All the best for you and your family, and remain vigilant, because the evil man might be lurking in the dark.